But if you say to him, you're a Negro, it's not an insult. Oh, that for me. Just call me a black it, man. It, it, just call me a black Negro. man. Why are you saying Negro? Negro. That's your name. Dude, that's you, okay. okay, if someone asked me to describe you, I don't know your name. I know you're a man. I know yeah. you're taller than me. You wear a hat. But I would also identify the fact that you're black because that is a unique thing to you that is not common amongst everybody. Last week you was a Christian, yes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So did you, did you, did you, did you sin last week? Yeah. Well, and you knew it was against God, right? Yeah. For me, that is a condition of picking and choosing. Because God is telling you don't do okay, it. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Okay, so why are they referring to one consumer? The flag is basically what it's describing is where they're from. How he will and is that Chris Golden Show? Okay, so a common way because to... You mean, yeah, that's, that, okay, wait, wait, a me, common okay, way... You calling me black guy does not refer to where I specifically am. It may refer to a continent, but it doesn't refer to where I'm specifically from. Yeah, so well, people... when you say Najer and you're saying to me that was a reference to be called Negro, why is that... Why because is, why because it doesn't be have its historical value as a slur in ah. that time and place. Okay? And, and, and who made so, that? Wait, wait, wait. Much centuries later, wait, in like wait, literally in the, the, the 16th century. Like... That's when saying, that originates from. It doesn't originate from the first century in Judea. When I look at that, like, when I read that as a black man, I'm like, why are they referencing me? Like, why? why am in I the Negro? first why? century. Yeah, but if any century, but, even today, we can talk about. Yeah, but you can't. You can't. That? You understand that the origin of that term, the etymology of that word, mm. and how it was used historically. That goes yeah. back to so, okay, okay, okay. okay. So, so what? what so so wait, wait. Like, tell me where. Wait, wait. Now. Before you, before you go off, right? When we talk about the philosophy of language, what doesn't matter is the word in itself, but words are just signifiers for things in reality that we point to, right? So the word hello, goodbye, Arsenal T-shirt, whatsoever, yeah, I agree it that. doesn't actually mean anything until we give it a content to yeah, signify towards. Yeah. So when we're talking about terms in ancient manuscripts, we need to see what does the author intend to signify by it rather than applying a later contextual lens does which the, this does, guy's does doing. Does the author have um, um, an objective, does the, does the author have the authority to objectively define a word? Okay, so an author... And is, is that not, author black? So word, words don't have yeah. like objective yeah, yeah, yeah. meanings as in like the word like arsenal, just if it existed on its own would signify something, right? Mm. Because it's something that we just give meaning to and we abstract the meaning from the word, right? This is an interlinear of that word, right? So this is a scholarly understanding of what it means. The origin of Latin origin, dark in dark color. It's just saying the guy is black. Why? Yeah. Describing because his color. Describing him. Not describing yeah, the person. Wait, 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 wait. Before, before okay, you go, hold on, hold on. why do you have a problem with that when there are hadiths which literally describe yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, 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 wait. He's saying, wait, 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 wait. wait, wait. But I, I'm, well, here's what I'm saying. Here's, here's what I'm saying to you. Describing, describing someone with a description that differentiates them from someone else isn't problematic. But if he wants to say that it's problematic, then he implicates a problem with his own worldview yes. no, because no, his no, own no, hadiths no, describe no, people no, no, as no, black slaves. No, Do the hadith, no, no, does Muhammad have black no, slaves no, in the hadiths? No, no, does no, does, no, does no, Muhammad no, trade no, black no, slaves? We spoke about that. Can you? Can okay, you okay. Not, does Muhammad trade black slaves? Ask the question. Does Muhammad trade black slaves? The color you instead of this. Answer, 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 answer the said, question. We said we agree. We agree. We finish. We can't disagree. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Wait, Sam. Can you show me? Sam. Sam. Did you describe? You said he was describing the place. Can you back up your evidence? 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 One. One. Can you back up your evidence? What I just said. Can you back up your evidence? Instead of running away and just talking over me. Okay. Okay. So don't don't talk after me. I'm not. Ask your your evidence. Question yeah, first. Can you show me? Can I'm you give me one, evidence Sam, that he was Sam, describing don't the place, not the person? I'm the one that first no, addressed one. you. So no, if no, I'm the person no, that first addressed no, you, then you're going to respond to my point first. And what my point is to you, Sam, is that the most implication that you can make from this Bible verse is that he it's giving a description of a person. But because in your own Quran and Hadiths, it yeah. gives descriptions of yeah, yeah, people, yeah, yeah. also known as your Quran and Hadiths liar. describe liar. Muhammad trading black liar. slaves. Don't run away. Don't run away. Don't run away. 
Bye bye. That's the Dawa Dash, baby. Dawa Dash, baby. Okay, now now we can actually have a civil conversation about it. At that time, it was understood as a bad thing. Okay. The reason why it's okay for you and, and me personally is because you you two are white men, so you don't understand. But, no, no, no. Yeah, listen, listen, no. listen. Where I'm going with this, because you're already going to disagree. So that's fine. Right, right. So I know you're going to disagree already. Yeah, right. So I know you're going to disagree. No problem. Yeah. It's easy for you because you have no problem. In, in the Bible, you will not see something something that says uh peter the, the white man you just understand mentally that okay this probably yeah, could be really white if it said peter the you white wouldn't man, yeah, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. it doesn't exist but because the, it's just well, peter, the point the point of yeah, what he's saying it's peter, yeah. wait, so, wait. So, so so when 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 some of these references of me it doesn't wait. say what the text you just gave me it doesn't say Oh, uh, um, so from from Ethiopia, it just says so. The back. Why is why is that? Well, something? actually, if you read if you read why, that, why, it, why, is that wait, why are you trying to imply something that's yeah. not in the text? You saw me the text. Wait, it, yeah, if, it you, wait if you wait, read the, the wait, if you read the, the text, if you read the text, right. it now, why says where they're thing? from. Multiple huh? people. Okay, you, you, okay, if someone asked me to describe you, I don't know your name. I know you're a man. I know you're taller than me, and you wear a hat. But I would also identify the fact that you're black because. That is a unique thing to you that is not common amongst everybody. In the same sense that you being a man is not common to everybody. It helps identify you if I had to describe you. Like if you were referring to me, would you not say I'm a white guy? I, I would. I'd, you I'd, refer, I'd refer to I don't think that's offensive. I'd refer to Chris as like the white guy with the wait, if you, wait, wait, one more thing. If you think it's offensive, I think necessarily you're implying there's something wrong with you being either black or white. And I fundamentally disagree with that. No, I don't think there's yeah. anything wrong with being either black or white. So it's fine. I agree with that. I agree with that. Uh, there you are then. Hey, hey, so, hey. So when it don't Simon, matter. You it don't matter <laughs> if you're black or white. You asked me a good question. <laughs> What would, would you describe me as a white man if, if I was referring to you, right? Uh, if I had to pick you out, other people were also white, probably not. Nigeria. Okay. Just like if, if, I, like, I don't know, if I went to my blackmates and I was the only white guy there, and one of them went, yeah, Chris, that white guy, I yeah. completely understand why yeah, they so yeah. changes. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. the white guy. Yeah. So, <laughs> you know? so if, if yeah. being black is something unique about Simeon, who, by the way, isn't described in a negative way here, then it's merely picking out who he is apart from the others, the same way in his analogy. Which is why his argument doesn't work. But also, the funny, the funny thing about what he's saying is he's saying it's wrong to describe someone by their race. But he no, has. He's using that term, though. Wait, wait, wait. But he, he, he has. Okay, okay, wait, wait. But that term. So again, when we use words, they signify things in reality, right? In the 16th century, that term signifies something different in reality than it does in the first century, because there's no first century, because there's a lack of first century evidence that describes it as a slur, right? A lack, though. Does it? Okay. Does it but is, is, okay. Be honest. Be honest when you say it. Does it mean there's a possibility that it could have been derogatory? Okay. Let's okay. Because, wait, wait, wait. No, no. Be honest. Be honest. Wait, wait, wait. Let's take that. Wait, wait. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Don't in that case, then, wait, wait. I'm going to assert that Are any. Twins? Re Come wait, 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 wait. I'm going to assert that. Be anytime someone's described as white or a different colour, that's also offensive. I'm going to assert that. There's no evidence for that. But just like you were asserting that there's no evidence for the fact that Niger the word. was a slur, I'm going to assert that anytime someone is described as white or light skinned, that's an insult. Okay. But I have no if, evidence. If, for it. If, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Acts 13. Simon from Niger. Now, Niger can only be found in Africa, body. which is Niger Delta. So Niger, when he says Niger, it's direct. Yeah, we just read this. We read so it's this. Pointing, yeah, yeah. It's pointing. So he's, he's explaining for you to okay, correct, for you to correct this, you need to go here. So I like your labels, by the way. That's, yeah, that's but, looking cool. So, yeah. let, let, me, <laughs> let, let, let me go here. Jeremiah. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. We don't use Jeremiah 14 because if you use Jeremiah 14, they must say, oh, it's because of smoke. So let's read Jeremiah 8 verse. I think we're getting into the Hebrew Israelite stuff. No, not Hebrew Israelite. Not no, Hebrew stuff. Israelite? Okay, cool. He's not a Jew. Okay, I mean, he's a cool. Christian too. Are you so a Jew? Yeah, I'm a Jew. Oh, okay. Let's finish this topic. Yes, 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 yes. So, so read from me. Read from 19 to 22. All right. Before I read this here, what, what is your point though? What's the point on this? Just read it. We'll see. Just read Right. We're talking about Niger. We're talking about Simon Niger. Yeah, let's read. All right, cool. Behold the voice of the cry of the daughter of my people, because of them that dwell in a far country. Is not the Lord in Zion? Is her king in her? Why have they provoked me to anger with their graven images? See, that's what I was talking about before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, uh, we can and talk about that more. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> with you, with you. See, see. Oh man. Okay, cool. And with strange vanities. The harvest is past, the summer is ended, and we are not saved. Mm -hmm. For the hurt of the daughter of my people, I am, am I hurt? I am black. Astonishment. Stop. Stop. Is what? I am black. 
in the so we didn't with Simon Simon is what? I'm black. So what's Simon from Niger is black. I don't, I don't think what? anyone disagreed with that. I don't, yeah, I don't disagree with that. Yeah, yeah. well, no, no, no. Yeah, that, that's yeah, not, yeah, 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 that's not the contention. That's 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 if you have a talk about colour, they were black. You that's but it's not nothing to do why, with righteousness. So, wait, wait. wait the, debate, the debate isn't about if he's described as black in the verse. I think there's an agreement on that. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, but yeah, the, yeah, the point, the what, what's yeah. being debated about is, yeah. is use. that offensive yes. in the way it's being said? And what we're saying is that that is not offensive. The word Niger cannot be offensive. Thank Neither you. the word Negro cannot be offensive. That means a slave from Jamaica. The word, when you, when you say to a person, you're a nigger, yeah. it's a directly insult. But if you say to him, you're a Negro, it's not an insult. Oh, that for me. Just call me a black it, man. It, it, just call me a black Negro. man. Why are you saying Negro? Why? Negro. That's your name. Do they have any other distinctive black man? a Negro because you're white. Can we wrap this up? Chris, 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 Chris. Do you have any Chris. other description for white man? Negro just means that you're from white. Any other description for white man? I know, I know. Biblical text. Someone's been described as white skin. I think there are. I can't No, no, no. Light skin is a black person. Okay. Okay, so. In, in, white, the region, white. in the region, you wouldn't see people like me. Would you see people like me in Judea? Like, you're actually, I'm Casper the Friendly Ghost. I'm real white. Okay, you're you're, you're drawing yeah, saying that Jesus is white. You're drawing saying that Jesus is white. Hey, man, we're, we're, we're the same colour as this guy's shirt right here. Asia. <laughs> Jesus is drawn Asian. Your church. Yep. Do, you have, do, you have a, do you have a white Every, man? Everyone around the world depicts in art symbolism, right? And God told so you they don't do it. So they symbolise the Christ God told you in don't a way do it. that they relate. I said, what? But God told you don't do it. But forget that. I'm asking, do you have a white man? Do you have a white man in your church? Yeah, yeah. The black, white, black, Asian. No, no, no. Because we don't make in your church? Yeah, in my church, yeah. Okay, cool. So, uh, give me a biblical reference that might reference a white man. Because you gave me Niger, Niger, right? So, give me a white man. I don't know off the top of my head. You, you want a white man? Pontius Pilate? There you go. People are going to be darker skinned than me. You know that. All right. I mean, you need to understand the early church took place in a very non white region of the world. The earliest church fathers were not looking like me. I agree with that. I agree. Right. So, our traditions come from darker skinned people. They don't come from white people like me. But it was Europe eventually got Christianity, but it wasn't until much later. I asked him the question earlier. The earliest yeah. places were uh, Egypt, Ethiopia. Ethiopia. Yeah, I'm, I'm a consensus with you. I agree with all of you saying. Palestine. Um, uh, what's the most? Jordan. Mini yeah. So Minia. these are the areas that were Christian first. Yeah, yeah. So again, Why the whole idea that Christianity is a white man's religion is false. I didn't say that. I'm, I'm just saying. I'm okay, saying okay. So, so now, now we all, all we need to establish for this argument to come to an end. Before you get there, I'll, is, I'll, I'll let you rise. I'm going to ask you one question, and if you answer it, I call. Um, damn, shoot. <laughs> yeah, all right. Would you be um, content with going to a church with no images, no pictures? Could you worship God the same way with just words? Uh, wait, that's, that's going to take us into a that's different to topic, to though. No, just, I, I, I think I, there's going to be some disagreements with some people. Hear, yeah, so I can worship wherever. So I can worship alone without any images or anything. I yeah. can worship that way. But would you be content? But with I can also no worship in a church where there's pictures of Christ and there's pictures of saints. I would say that's fine. <laughs> oh, okay. No, yeah. Don't make no graven in it. Uh, thank you. But didn't the ark of the covenant? Ark of the covenant yeah. had angels yeah. carved into it. I know. Literally angels. Because he's being honest. No, no. I'm being honest. You haven't heard. God it. says. God says. The ark of the we covenant. We must not make the ark of the oh, covenant. No, 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 Did it have no, no. angels on the top of it or not? That's not. That's, that's not, not God. That's, that's not God. God commanded no, no. the building no, no. of the ark of the covenant. God told you to make it. God told you to make that. God, God told them to yeah, make the Ark of the Covenant and to put these right. images on top of it. No, they're no, no. God. no, they're, they're depicting, depicting angels. angels. No, but I'm saying God, God could get... Right. In your I church, said, there's a picture said, of God, right? Of Jesus. Christ, yeah. Yeah, and they, yeah. that Christ is God. You're yeah. giving me angels. I, 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 no, listen, forget the angels, put that to the side, yeah? You have pictures depicting God. God is telling you in the beginning of your book, right. God is word and word with God. He's also told you in Exodus, don't make no graven images, for I am a jealous God. Right. What what, graven what, what, what do you what? think graven image means? Yeah, what do you of think? Of course. That's, that's, a graven image oh. is an idolatrous Something image. You, you think yeah, about, wait, yeah. wait, wait. Think about the context in which Israel was in. They just worshipped a golden calf, right? Yeah, yeah. And yeah. what was the penalty what, for that? Okay, yeah. so they're worshipping... Yeah. Wait, so what is idolatry? It's when you place yeah. something in the place of God, yeah. right? What, okay, what, what you, so, what you guys okay, today, okay. wait, wait. Yeah. So okay. when someone looks at a picture of St. Augustine or St. Irenaeus or St. Or, or 
No, 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 because Jesus is God, so it's not idolatry. So it's when we look, when we look, have a picture of it. No, because Why? okay, the purpose of the picture is not that it is a one-to-one -one likeness to what Jesus looks like, but it's so that you can focus your mind more on what you're focusing on in the divine liturgy. For me, yeah. the word is enough. Why isn't the word enough, though? Why, Why do you isn't it the anyway? What, what, what do you mean by the word, the word? Because when, when the brother just was here and he said, don't make no graven images, for me, don't make an image of God. Whatever you think of has a billion of the law. Yep. The person that made <laughs> because it... Because people would worship that as God. Yeah, we don't we make don't images of God. As God. We don't make but images of like the Father. God. You, you believe say... that God is Father, Son, Holy Spirit. God is immaterial. God is not in a book. He's not on the ground. No. So we're You would say that, that picture is God, right? No. God, it's God isn't. God. It, it's a picture. Yeah, wait, wait. God. The picture that's, that's is. Crazy to wait, wait. No, the picture is stars. signifying God, but the picture no, isn't the picture God. Where you have that's that's a, picture God. God. a picture of God. Yes, an artistic, symbolic. Hold up. Image it's a nice picture. Oh, it, it, it's it's also not listening to the book. You're not listening. This. Which one of the things that God is telling you don't make it, and you're still doing it. Just still doing it. Which one of the which one of the picture represents Christ? Huh? Which one of the picture represents Christ? Which one of the pictures represents Christ? He's saying all colors, right? All. Well, it's an artistic representation. It's just man's representation. Right, let me say this. Let me say this. Yeah. Let me say this. But we don't worship that Christ image as God. Is from the because tribe that is of Judah. idolatry. Christ is from the tribe of Judah, yes? Christ is from the tribe of Judah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Now he was so you must have come with colour, yes? Yeah, he wouldn't have he wouldn't have been right. like colour. So like Christ yeah. in your church. <laughs> okay, so is that is that image God? What image? Which God? The which Im image in your church. Is that God? Of Christ? Yeah. That's because Christ is God. The image itself is a image God. The image represents who, who God. Image? Yeah. Someone the one person of Christ who is God. Okay, someone we don't do worship image. the image. Yeah. We don't think the image is God. Yeah. We don't think the colors are God. We okay. don't think the material it's made out of is God. No, it is merely a symbolic way to call you to worship the one true God, Father, no, Son, Holy problem. Spirit. And that is all that is. Fine. If you take it further than that, then that is idolatry. Okay. But we don't. Yes. Okay. That is the point. Now, just you... like the Ark of the Covenant, which has icons on it, yes. properly understood, is not idolatry. Flawless. There you are. Again, okay. Joshua literally bowed down to the Ark of the yeah. Covenant. Yeah, they're bowing down to the Ark they're of the Covenant. Going that's going down, God going did it. down to the ark. God literally told to them to do it. Joshua, I just want to see if you're strong. No, no, no. Your Wait, where's God's presence? No. In the Old Testament, like where's God's presence? God. I would say everywhere. 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 God's presence, every, every, nothing escapes him. You can take okay, so it's not in the ark. What happened? It's not in his temple. God's everywhere, everywhere. The ark of the covenant. So if you say he's there, he's there. God's presence dwells in the ark of the covenant. That's where we're You know, they spoke of fire by day, spoke of fire by night. I mean, that's your belief. I mean, that's scripture, bro. Okay. If you believe, but you have to believe in it, right? Why actually do you believe? Are you a Jew, a Christian? I'm a monotheist. I'm a monotheist. Basically, you can say I pick a choose. <laughs> yeah, you basically, you basically don't. don't. <laughs> we, we do that, we do that. Okay, would you say you don't have a particular wait, wait, hold on, hold on. religion? Just believe in God. Do we, do we all pick and choose in religion? No. So you, wait, wait, wait. You, it depends, it depends the... what you mean by pick and choose. If you mean do you pick a religion, I think no, many no, no. people pick a religion. Yeah. Pick and choose between instructions of God. We all pick and choose, right? So, no. so okay. So have have you followed what God has instructed you to do to the T? Okay, so I haven't done that personally. Wait, 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 wait. But I, that would presuppose that I'm a perfect person. Right? So no, no, yeah. no, no, exactly. I'm not a perfect okay, person. Last week, Christian, right? last week you was a Christian. Hmm? Last week you was a Christian. Last week you was a Christian. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So exactly did you did you did you sin last week? Yeah. And you knew it was against God, right? Yeah. For me, that is a condition of picking and choosing. Because God is telling you don't do okay, it. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, so okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay. Wait, wait, wait. You have to think that you're being called to perfection, and if you wait, fail wait, that, wait. you're somehow not a Christian. Uh, God bless no, 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 Wait, 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 wait. Before, before we both go, wait, 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 wait. Before, before we both go, can I just get a word in? Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean to. When you originally said pick and choose, to me it sounded like you're talking about. Oh, oh. To me, it sounds like you're talking about picking and choosing intellectual things to believe. Meanwhile, when you're talking about Chris picking and choosing. It's not that Chris suddenly thinks one day, oh, this isn't wrong. It's that Chris is just struggling with a battle with yeah. the flesh yeah. in the spirit, right? Yeah. So there's, no a difference, wrong, there's a difference right? between picking and choosing what you believe and, and also struggling with what but you But did you have the option of not doing that sin, though? Uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you, you can still you get, you get the difference, though. Yeah, because, yeah, yeah, okay, so when you, when you say you pick honest. and choose, when you say you pick and choose, you're talking about intellectual options no, that's not rather than spiritual ones. You're telling me what I'm talking about. That's, 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 that's a good point. <laughs> you're telling me what I'm talking about. Okay, okay so we're, we're, when you said you pick and choose, what, do you, what did you mean by that? Okay, what I meant is, yeah, when we're picking and choose, we know, we intellectually know what 
let's say, but the, the reason why I asked you was, are you was you a Christian last week? Yes. You was. Yes. Cool. Cool. Are you still last week? Yeah. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So you knew that that action. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you was conscious that action was against We've what God is saying. Already established this. Yes. Yeah. Cool. I'm just, I'm just okay. you know, summarizing. So. You knew it was against God, yeah. and you still done it yeah. as a Christian because of my fallen nature. And so think it's spiritual sin. Exactly. It's a battle. And is there is, is, there, like, is it likely that you might do that action again at some point? I have a corrupted life. nature. I will ultimately fall into sin in, in some cases. Now, but I love that you said that. Through the, at least in my hand. What are we looking at? I'm a human being. I'm a human being with a fallen yes. nature. Now, and it's through Christ that strengthens me to overcome sin. Amen. Not mean I am immediately made perfect Great. and can have the whole of my worldly life never engaging in sin. Great. No, I acknowledge that I am not Christ, I am mm -hmm. not perfect, I'm in the process of improving okay. through my uh, my faith in Christ, through Him mm -hmm. and the Spirit sanctification. me. Right. Right. Sanctified me. Great. Now, I, now, now I agree with that. Now, I'm going to show you the other side to that. Because there are some sins that you might do or you might not do, right? But there's some sins also that you would never do. So, for example, okay. apostating against Jesus, sure. is that a sin? Yes. That's a sin. But you would never do it, right? Do it, no. that's, what that's what I mean. Yeah, but they're, they're, that's, that's, that's not taking a choosing. That's just no, that's some things are harder to deal with than others. I mean, that to me is quite You would easy. say that. Well, no, okay. I'm firmly in the belief that Jesus is God. So yeah. it makes no sense change tomorrow? to really struggle with it. Could it, change it, it could do, but okay, for the last... I like that. I like that. I don't know, like third... How long has it been? Uh, 13, 14 years of me being a Christian, it's not been an issue. So, the so fact I don't that, think it's going to be Do you hear what he said? He said it could change tomorrow. So when you say, when you rate the difficulty of apostating against Jesus, it's a, it's well, a possibility. Uh, well, yeah, when, when you talk, evidence, because when, it, when he says, says I won't struggle yeah. tomorrow, because 14 years I haven't struggled with it. Doesn't matter. Doesn't wait, matter. Wait, wait, but in, in, I know, I know. But I'm saying that the evidence, yeah. you know what? It could for be a last day on earth. For the last 30 years of my life, the sun has always risen from the east. It might not do that tomorrow. Yeah. But my point is, is that I would be a fool if I didn't say, I think the sun is going to rise from the east tomorrow. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. All the evidence tells me that's exactly. Yeah, yeah. I understand your point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's possible that I will. It's possible. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's what I mean. So that's my, that's my, I'm not going to tell you that's an objective criteria of picking and choosing. That's my criteria of picking and choosing. And I feel like every religious person does it. We don't, we don't adhere to the book. I, I think. No one that goes against your book. We don't, we don't adhere to it. No one does. I, I think the problem is, though, right, it's not mean. a logical problem for the religion in itself when you have people within that system that fail to meet certain. Uh, things that they're called to do, right? It's not a problem for the religion okay, itself. Yeah, yeah. It's just that certain people in that religion are just struggling with ways in which they act in their life. I, myself, Chris, and anyone who says that they wouldn't would be obviously yeah, yeah, yeah. a liar. Yeah. And that's why we would say thank you for Jesus for dying yeah, for right, our sins right, right. so yeah. that we can repent of that and then we can keep living our lives and trying to grow closer and closer with God every day. Yeah. But the point is, right, the only way that this would have any force against Christianity as an ideology is if Christians were just picking and choosing intellectual caveats in like uh, Christianity or something like this, just off the whim. But that's not something that's necessitated by Christian belief. So it's not really a problem for Christians. It's just an observation of human nature that you're making. That's what, that's what I told you. That's what I've set my, I set my, I'm not telling you subjective. I'm just saying I, I've set my own criteria of what picking and choosing is and we all do it. Okay, and we're going to say, we're going to say there's no problem, yeah, there's yeah, no yeah. problem, yeah. We're not going to, we're not going to agree, well, you might agree, I don't know, I don't know, but... Right, just I, to say, the, the term picking and choosing is quite, quite loaded emotionally. Yeah. So if I said to Thomas, oh, he's picking and choosing, it's an, it implies that he's like being dishonest or hypocritical yeah. in some way. So, I would suggest maybe a different term. It's picking and choosing. Like if I said to you, I think you're picking and choosing, like you're like... Oh, no, I, I accept that, I do. I, I yeah, no, I no, no, because you have, you have your way of like, like interpreting that term. Yeah. But for the average person, I think picking and choosing is it's likely to be perceived as differently. It, it, is, um, it is a painful truth that you have to ascend to be as honest, because it's not easy to be honest. For me, for me, when I say that I pick and choose, it's not easy to say it, but I do. I generally do, if I'm being honest with myself. But that's just me. That's, that's the criteria I've set for myself. Oh, fair enough. What's your name? I'm Frank. Frank. Yeah. Frank. Frank. What do I mean? Yeah, you want, I can shake your hand now, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was going to shake your hand. I'm, I'm Thomas, by the way. No? Thomas, Thomas. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, we we spoke last actually. week. We spoke last week, didn't okay. we? And you're, are, you, are you of the same ideology? You believe in the same? Yeah, yeah, we're both Christians. Yeah, we're okay. both Christians. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Hey, I'm content. I'm content. All right, cool. So we'll all just right. wrap up for the camera. All right. So basically, the way this conversation started is we overheard Sam Dawa trying to give an argument from Acts chapter 13, verse 1 where he tried to say that Simon was called, Simeon was called the N-word, right? And then we broke down that the reason why this argument doesn't work is because words are just placeholders for signifying things in reality. And as long as the word N-I-G-E-R doesn't signify something 
bad or a negative racist connotation in the first century, then it wouldn't be any logical problem for the Christian worldview or saying that this is racist in any fashion. But it's just a differentiator for saying that someone is so-and-so in a group of people, such as it does with the other people in the passage. And uh, Chris even gave the example earlier, if Chris was the only white guy in a group of black guys, it wouldn't be a problem. Now here's where it got funny. When I asked Sam Dawa, does the Hadiths describe the race of people? He ran away. And the reason why is because he knows that the Hadiths say that Muhammad traded black slaves or that it describes Muhammad himself as being white. He had a white shin. Uh, he's the white guy reclining on this guy's shoulder, right? And it's not a problem to say Muhammad is white or describe him in that way. Maybe the slave stuff is problematic, but that's another, that's another issue. The point is that he's being hypocritical in his analysis of the verse, because if all the verse is, is just picking out a characteristic in which we can differentiate a person to understand who they are, then he would have the same problem in his system of belief because his system does that as well. And when he noticed that, he ran away. So Sam Dawa, you're going to need to stop cowering away and actually come and debate Christians when you bring up these points in the park. But, uh, my name's Thomas Apologia. Uh, Chris, I don't know if you want to add anything else. Chris is talking to someone right now. So, yeah, God bless you guys. All right. Good, I'm right. Yeah. God bless you all.